everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am making a, well, I guess I call it floral, but it's a fruity floral soap. This is called um, Hawaiian Hibiscus. Right, is that this one? Yes. We had a couple of hibiscus ones that we were trying to decide which we wanted to do because they both smelled so stinking good. And we chose this one because it's a little warmer. And no, I did not bother to look up the fragrance description. Um, as you know, that would be the smart thing to do. And I just don't ever remember to do that. But it smells amazing. There are some floral notes in here, but they're really, they're sweet. It's, it's not like a, a rose where it's, you know, grandma smelling. This is, it's nice, it's young, it's, um, I don't know, flirty, maybe. But I really, really, really like it a lot. And I don't like floral scents at all. So, we're going to do this uh, mostly yellow. Am I still in the camera? Kind of. Alright, I'll look here in a second. I'm having trouble getting the camera placement where I want it to be today. Okay, stop. She's making like airplane gestures at me and she's behind me and I can't really see what she's doing. Other than these crazy can wagging things. <laughs> so fragrance is already in here. I went ahead and put that in before um, or before my lime mixture actually. Because I didn't take time to look up the fragrance. I didn't take time to look up the reviews and to see how this performs. Not that that's ever stopped me before. It is thickening up a little bit. So I'll just hand blend the color in here. So that's good there. I'll try to keep this where you can see. I just, I can't see the back of the camera. And I'm having to stay on sideways because of where the camera is. It's kind of in front of the table. So I have an itty bitty working space. This is my white. This is not titanium dioxide. This is a white mica that I found. I used it for the first time last night. And I like how it worked in my batter. I don't know how it's going to work yet in the cut soap. But we'll find out. And this is my pink. So it is thickening up, but not too bad. And then my daughter wanted this to be really sparkly. So I added a sparkle dust to the whole batter. And we'll see how that comes out. I haven't had much luck with the sparkle dust micas yet. Um, they, to me, they seem to lose their sparkle. And the soap. So we will see. I love pink and yellow together. I had a pink and yellow soap, but it's sold out quite a while ago, so I thought, okay, I can use pink and yellow again. The rest of that for the top. So it is getting thick, but it's still pouring. The rest of that for the top. Woo! 
Oh, hello. What do you think? Should I drag a hanger through that? Yeah. Hopefully I didn't muddle it up, but I just kind of stick it in there and go for it. Hope for the best. And then when I have uh, a hanger swirl that I really, really like, I have no idea how I did it. <laughs> Quite a bit of yellow left. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Feels good to be soaping again. And I know a lot of soapers are doing their fall scents now, and I'm really not going to do fall specific scents. I, I'm going to do a few. I did chai tea last night. I am going to do pumpkin spice, um, but I'm going to do them in smaller batches in a different sized bar this time. And then I'm going to do, like this scent, while it's floral and fruity, it's still really warm. I think it's going to be the perfect fall um, soap. I really do. But it's also going to be really good in like sugar scrub and lotion. And I'm going to try to focus more on soaps where I can um, pair them up with my scrubs and lotions. Because when I'm doing my shows, that's what people want. I need to do a video on my scrubs, but my scrubs sell really, really well and very fast because it's not a regular, they're not regular scrubs or lotion. I do emulsified sugar scrubs. And I spent a couple of years formulating my recipe. So, and I haven't found anything out there like it. And I've tried a lot of other emulsified scrubs, and I haven't found anything that is close to what I do. So I'm, I'm wanting to focus more on my scrubs, especially with the holidays coming up. And because people want, they want gift, gift baskets, they want to be able to give matching soaps and, and scrubs and stuff. So anyway, I thought this scent would be perfect because there are just some scents like root beer while well, it's fun in a soap. I don't know about you, but I don't want that in a lotion or a sugar scrub. It's just, or a bath bomb even. Maybe my kids would, but you know, I'm, I'm looking for more soaps that are more scents that are more um, versatile, if that makes sense. I have a whole bunch of new fragrances that I am excited to try out. Hopefully I am totally in the video. I have a feeling I am not. Am I in the video right now? Kinda. Pretty kinda. <laughs> Pretty kind of. That's good. Alright. I'm really going to have to spend some time trying to figure out a better angle before I make. I have two more batches I want to make tonight. But they're going to be later. Husband is home. And I should have started dinner about an hour ago. And I 
Well, I stopped recording. I have no idea where. You just missed me texturing the top and putting some glitter on. So don't go anywhere. I'm going to attach the cutting video to the back half of this. Okay, here is Hawaiian hibiscus. Or hibiscus Hawaiian, something I like that. I can't remember. Try to keep it focused for you. New camera angle here. Oh, this got hard. But that is pretty. And oh my goodness, it smells so good. I really liked this one, the way it smelled in the bottle. I like it even more in the soap. Can you smell that? Pretty. You see? Pretty, pretty. I'm losing light fast, so I really hope you can see. So the soap is, you just washed this, you may remember, but it's yellow, and it's a light yellow with a pale pink and a little bit of white. I'm focus this on. The camera is above my head, so I'm having to um, stretch to see if you can see what I'm doing. So this is a very fresh, fruity, floral, It's, but it's not, it doesn't, if you picked it up, I don't think you would know it was a floral. Um, it's pretty clean smelling, but it's not clean like, like a cotton would be. Hibiscus is my favorite flower. have another hibiscus scent I want to soak, but I'm going to spread that a little bit. And here is the last piece, pretty. And this will be cured around September 15th, uh, September 20th, 2015. Uh, I don't have a name for this yet, but I will, well, I'll name it in the title. But it'll be available at stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching.